welcome back to my youtube channel my name is noe and i'm a nigerian teacher i live and work in lagos nigeria in today's video i'm going to share how i map grade score give feedback to my pupils reward them and then have the corrections done on the google slide in the google classroom so if you're interested in this video keep watching when I see the question like what you have on the screen right now, this child has been asked to write parts of speech and then the child has successfully turned in this task. So what I want to do is to mark. So in this part of the world where I am, we usually mark with ticks, red ticks using red pen. So if that's what you do, then you're watching the right video okay so because i do not have access to a red tick right here on the google slide what i did was to go into google search and look for a png red tick with a transparent background that is free so i copied that and put that on the google screen like you're saying right now so what i want to do is to resize it so that it sits very well by the side of the child's task so the next thing i want to do is to duplicate it so that i can have each by the sides of every correct answer like you're seeing right now so when i'm done with that the first one the second thing i want to do is to go to the gradient section here i can put the total mark so for five marks it means that each question carry two marks because 10 marks have been assigned at the beginning of this question so because this child has answered four questions correctly and then i'd want to turn in 8 over 10 so that's the second thing i want to do but then you remember that feedback is more important than grading so the third thing i'd want to do is to write the comment so i may choose to type the comment in the private comment section or i may want to go into the comments bank that means that you would have prepared a bank of different comments based on what you have in your community or in your school or in your province or district or what's acceptable where you work so what you want to do is to copy one of the comments that you already have put it in the private comment and then you can post it to the child so that's the third thing i want to do so you know what you want to give as a feedback to the child after you're done marking so the fourth thing i want to do which is the very interesting one is that i want to reward the child's task or the reward the child's effort with a sticker or with a smiling face i've done a video on how i reward my puppies if you're interested in that i'm going to put the card somewhere on the screen so that you can have to watch it and see how i reward my people so because it's a virtual class what i'm going to do is to get a smiley face right here on the screen so i go into the shape tool and then i pick the smiley face and put it on the screen to choose the fill color and change the color of the smiley face and position it very appropriately on the screen but then if you do not have want to use a smiley face you may want to use your favorite sticker or the sticker that the child really loves so what i do is go into google search once again like we did for the tick and look for a free sticker so i look for a free sticker bring that in resize it and position it in the appropriate place just to say well done for what the child has done so the final thing i'd want to do is to correct like you can see one of the answers isn't correct so what i'm going to do is highlight using the highlighter the question that is not properly turned in and then i would want to use the color green of the highlighter to show that i want to make a comment on this particular one that is not right so what i want to do is tap on the comments option and from the comments option i can type in the correct answer that's where i'm giving the child a feedback to this particular question that has been turned in incorrectly so if what you want to do depending on the kind of question that you have set you may also want to give the reason why the answer is not right okay so instead of just putting the answer you may also want to give the reason why this answer is not the right answer but if all you want to do is just to correct then you can go ahead and correct that way the child can see clearly that there's something wrong with this question the teacher has seen it the teacher has noted it by highlighting it and the teacher has given a feedback to that particular question so for children in the primary school this looks very colorful and this is very beautiful so next time they would want to attempt 
your question so when you're done you want to double check to see that you have correctly marked this particular task before you turn it in or before you return so you click on the return button on the top right corner of the screen and the work gets back to the chart i like to carefully say that you have to be sure that you're done marking before you return can i emphasize that please be sure that you're done marking before you return so if you like this video i'd like you to give it a thumb up that way more people can get to watch it and then you're free to share it with your teachers and all the people who are doing online courses especially for children in the preschool and primary school this marking system will be very appreciated by them so please share these and you can be a member of this family by clicking on the subscribe button below thank you very much for watching until i see you in another video i like you to stay safe and be blessed bye if you are new to my channel click on the subscribe button tap on the notification bell like it comment and share thank you